We're gonna break down black box and I'm gonna cover all of the advanced filters inside of black box. What is up everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Pat Harris and I'm a full-time Amazon FBA seller. On my channel, I share tips that help with my own Amazon business so I could help others out. I also like to share videos related to the stock market, making money online, investing, anything to do with making money, I like to share it. So if you like this type of content, make sure to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you can stay updated with all of my new videos every week. And just by doing that, I do a giveaway at the end of every month where you have a chance to win my Amazon course or a hundred dollar prize and all you have to do is like and comment on the videos and you have a chance to win so keep an eye out for that but let's get into the video so in this video I'm gonna break down product research using helium 10's black box if you don't have helium 10 you could get a discount code down below for 50% off but I use helium 10 for all of my product and keyword research but in today's video we're gonna break down black box and I'm gonna cover all of the advanced filters inside of black box so you have a better chance at finding a good product that all of the other people are not finding a lot of new beginners don't use all of the different tabs in there so I'm gonna break down what each one is so you have a better chance at finding a good product so enough of this boring talk let's get into my computer right now jump inside helium 10 and try to find a good product Let's go. All right guys, so here we are in Helium 10 and this is their product research tool called Blackbox. If you wanna check it out, I have a discount code down below in the description, but we're gonna jump right into it. So if you are a new seller, usually they'll come in here and they'll pick different categories. So just for this video, we'll choose home and kitchen, um, kitchen and dining, office, patio, lawn and garden. And then right here is the monthly revenue that you wanna find sellers doing. So maybe 8,000 monthly revenue minimum. So that means all the sellers that are gonna pull up are doing over $8,000 a month in revenue. Price will do between 15 and 32 review count we don't like to have a lot of reviews on the competitors listings because it's really hard to compete so we'll do a max of 197 and then you could also do shipping tier size if you want to sell a small product like I say in my other videos you could choose small standard size but we're not going to click that we're going to go to advanced filters and then some of the things that I choose in here are the variation count now I just want to find one product not a whole bunch of different colors or sizes I want to find listings that have one one product so I'll do a max variation of one and then I also like to do number of sellers so you want to find listings that only have one seller on the listing you don't want to find listings that have 20 different sellers because the chances are those are retail arbitrage products those are big brands so a lot of different sellers sell on those listings so you'll choose max number of sellers and you'll set it to one sometimes it could be two because Amazon warehouse will sell under your listing if you have used products that are in good condition so one or two you could put in that box and then a cool thing that he'll 10 pointed out on their webinar is this number of images so if you put three right here it's only going to bring up listings that have three pictures those listings are probably not optimized usually listings have seven pictures on them so you could come in there and have a better listing have better pictures and this person is going to be doing over eight thousand dollars a month so your chances are going to be great because you could come in there have a better listing and steal those customers away because your pictures will look better than these you'll have more pictures than these listings that are going to pull up and then we are going to hit search and check all the data so we're going to scroll through all of these different products another thing is if you find a lot of repetitive products like Christmas items or seasonal products that you don't want to see all you have to do is go right here to exclude title keywords and we will type in Christmas or a lot of time like bed sheets will pop up so we'll type in that and now it's gonna take away all of the products that have that in their title so we don't have to look at them and they could show other products that we might like so now we'll scroll through these and see what we could find okay so I'll just click on this one right here round white wash wastebasket they're doing 10,000 a month they have hundred and two reviews and they probably only have three pictures or less so I'm gonna go to Amazon and actually check and right here you can see their listing is horrible and um, they don't even have a description do they no they don't even have a description and they only have one picture so the chances are you could come in here have a way better listing and compete with this person they're doing 8,000 or more a month I'm gonna pull up x-ray on helium 10 right here and it's showing that they're doing ten thousand four hundred dollars a month with this listing and you could see it's not a great listing you could have way better bullet points they only have one picture so you could come in here and compete with them so that's one way on how to find products and actually look at people that you could compete with and that's pretty crazy because that's a horrible listing and I don't know how they're doing 10,000 a month but that is one way to look for products another way is to use the keywords tab now I like this tab the most in black box I use it in my other product research videos that you could check out um, but what you do here is you put the search volume on the keywords that you want to find the data on so say you want to find a keyword on a product that has 8,000 monthly searches you'll put that there monthly revenue will do a minimum of 
7,000. Price will do a minimum of 12 and a max of 34. Review count, again, will do around 200. I like to type random numbers so other people don't type the same. And then word count is the amount of words in the phrase. So if you're looking for a bike helmet, would you type in bike, which is one word, or would you type bike helmet or bike helmet for kids? So you wanna do a minimum of two or three words in your phrase because a lot of times customers will type in multiple keywords to find the product. Um, so we're gonna do that and then we're gonna come down here to advanced filters. Now they have a lot of the same things like variation, um, exclude keywords, shipping tier size, but they have these two sections that are different but they're pretty powerful. So the revenue competitors and the reviews competitors. Um, so basically what this is, if you put five right here, Helium 10 is gonna bring up products that match all of the criteria that you put above and then it's gonna bring up products that do more than 2,500 in revenue in the first 10 listings. Um, so there'll be five of these that will have $2,500 or more in revenue. And then you could also change this to like 5,000. So now five of the top 10 sellers will be doing more than 5,000 in revenue a month. You could do it to $10,000 a month. So five of the top sellers will be doing over $10,000 a month. And then to combine that with this one, this is reviews competitors. So if you do five right here, then five out of the top 10 listings that pull up for all of this data are gonna have less than 50 reviews. So now we're gonna find products that have less than 50 reviews that are doing over $10,000 a month in revenue, which is really hard to find, but with these tools, it makes it really simple. And we are actually gonna go and search for these products. So I'm gonna go to search and see what we could find. So it's pulling up a lot of Christmas stuff like stockings and Christmas stuff right here. So I'll go right here and I'm gonna do Christmas stocking Thanksgiving because it's the time of the year. So everything is popping up for these holidays because they're selling really well. Um, so one thing is anime light. They're doing 9,000 a month. And let's actually pull that up in Amazon. Let me see if I could find one more. Um, so turkey decoration. I'm trying not to find like a seasonal product for this video, but let's see what I could find. So fairy light spirit tree. I'm not sure what that is. They're doing 7,900 a month with 88 reviews. So I'll click on that. And let me see if I could find one more just for the heck of it. Um, so like iPhone keeps popping up. So we could put that in the excluded keywords part of Helium 10 and the filter. Um, but let's keep going down here and see what we could find. One more page. Okay, so here's another product, Plant Cover Freeze Protection. It's probably seasonal, but for the point of this video, I wanna pull up products that match all that criteria that we put in the filter. So they're doing 16,000 a month with 173 reviews. So we're gonna look at this one on Amazon and boom. So according to our data on Black Box, we wanted to find products that have at least five out of the top 10 listings, have under 50 reviews, and they are doing more than $10,000 in revenue a month. So we wanna check that right here. So five of these listings should have under 50 reviews. So this one has under 50 reviews. This one has under 50 reviews. Um, this one has under 50 reviews. This one and this one. So there's your five listings that have under 50 reviews that are doing over $10,000 a month in revenue. Um, so we're going to run it on x-ray again and just make sure. So let's see here. So here it is right here. So this one has 39 reviews and they're doing $25,000 a month. This one has 23 reviews. They're doing $7,300 a month. 40 reviews. They're doing $7,800 a month. So you get the point. There's a lot of new sellers doing good revenue. I always tell my students that if you have a lot of people on page one with low reviews, then you have a chance to compete against all of those other sellers in the hundreds. But when you get to the thousands of reviews, it gets really hard to compete with those other sellers. Here's the other product. It was a fairy light spirit tree. Five of these listings have under 50 reviews and they should be doing over $10,000 a month. So this one has three reviews. So we're gonna pull up x-ray again and just double check and run the numbers on the revenue. So let's Let's go over to the review count. So this one only has one review. They're doing over $13,000 a month. This one has one review. It's the same one. This one has three reviews. They're doing $2,200 a month. 33 reviews. They're doing over $7,500 a month. Um, 97 reviews, $27,000 a month. So you get the point. If you do these filters on Helium 10, you're gonna find better products because you're really narrowing it down. You could try to compete with all these sellers because they have under 50 reviews and they're doing over $10,000 a month and they have a search volume of over 8,000 monthly searches. So that's how you do your product research using Helium 10 Black Box. I hope this video helped you understand how to do product research, how to use the advanced filters, and that is it. So if you wanna try Helium 10, check out the discount code down below in the description. I also have a lot of other resources if you check out in the description. But that is it for this video. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.